Hi, I'm Danielle Richardson, and today we're going to talk about indirect and direct object pronouns in Spanish. In chapter four, you learned what direct object pronouns were. For example, I ate the tacos. What did you eat? The tacos. So I ate them. So, we're going to, so you already learned how to do that. Chapter five, you learned the indirect object pronouns. Um, for example, um, he gave me the book. What did he give me? The book. That was your direct. And who did he give it to? Me. So he gave it to me. So in chapter seven, you're learning how to combine both of them, direct and indirect, and replacing the pronouns in the sentence. So hopefully by the end of this video, it'll be a little bit more clear to you how to rewrite sentences using object pronouns. All right, so today we're going to talk about direct and indirect object pronouns. All right, your direct object pronouns, which I'm going to abbreviate as DO, you have me, te, lo, la, nos, los, and los. And remember, your direct object pronouns ask who or what after the verb. And then your indirect objects, I'm going to abbreviate IO. You have me, te, le, nos, and les. And remember, that asks to whom or for whom after the verb. Okay. All right, so let's look at some examples in English using direct and indirect object pronouns, and then we'll look at them in Spanish. All right, so some examples in English. All right, he sold me the car. All right, what did he sell? All right, he sold the car, so this is your direct object. Who did he sell it to? He sold it to me, so this is your indirect object. All right. All right, we made the cake for you. All right, what did we make? We made the cake, right? That's your direct object. Who did we make it for? For you, this is your indirect object, okay? So if you can ask yourself those questions, right? What did he sell? The car, who did he sell it to? To me, then you'll be able to figure out what your direct and indirect object pronouns are in the sentence. All right, so let's look at some examples in Spanish. All right, the first ones we're going to look at have two pronouns in the same sentence. For example, all right, Juan me da el libro. All right, what does Juan give me? All right, Juan gives me el libro, right, so this is your direct. Who does he give it to? He gives it to me. This is your indirect. All right, so we need to rewrite this sentence using our object pronouns, all right? Your indirect is always going to come first. Your di direct is going to come second. All right, so we're going to have one, all right? Your indirect object pronoun is me, all right? Your direct, el libro, you have to look at your direct object and see if it's singular or plural. El libro is singular, all right? So it's going to be Juan me da lo, just mess it up. All right, Juan me lo da. All right, lo is replacing el libro. All right, so the way you would read this is Juan gives it to me. All right. Oops. All right. La madre me prepara. La comida. All right, what does she prepare? All right, she prepares la comida. This is your direct. Who does she prepare it for? She prepares it for me. This is your indirect. All right, so we need to rewrite this sentence, replacing our objects with object pronouns. All right, so we would end up with la madre. All right, indirect's gonna come first, so may. All right, your direct here, you have to look at la comida. La comida is singular and feminine, so we're going to use our object pronoun la prepara. All right, and the way you would read this is mom prepares it for me. Okay. All right, el chico. Te canta una canción. All right, what does he sing? All right, una canción, this is your direct. Who does he sing it to? To you, this is your indirect. 
right, so we need to rewrite this using our object pronouns. So El Chico, indirect goes first. Te, right, una canción is a singular plural. Una is singular and it's feminine. So our object pronoun will be la canta. All right, the boy sings it to you is how you would read that sentence. All right, so this sentence as we looked at, they both had one verb in them. All right, let's look at sentences that have two verbs, all right? Yo te voy a comprar una gata. All right, so in this sentence, we have two verbs. We have a conjugated verb and we have an infinitive. Right, when you have two verbs in the sentence, there's two different ways that you can rewrite the sentence. All right, first of all, you need to look, all right, where's your indirect? Okay, yo te voy a comprar una gata. What are you going to buy? Una gata is your direct. Who are you going to buy it for? For you is your indirect. All right, so the first way you can rewrite it is the way we've been doing it, where we put everything in front of the conjugated verb. All right, so you would end up with yo te la voy a comprar, okay, we got the la because una gata is singular and feminine, or since we have two verbs in the sentence, we can attach everything to the infinitive, all right, so we can say yo voy a comprar te la, so this all becomes one word, comprar te la. Since we added two pronouns to the end of the verb, we have to add an accent mark. All right, there's two ways to remember where to add the accent mark. If you added two pronouns, you can count back three vowels, one, two, three, all right, and add the accent mark on the A. Or you can remember if it's an AR verb, you add it on the A, an ER verb, add it on the E, and an IR verb, add it on the I. Paco te va a leer las cartas. All right, again, we have two verbs in this sentence. We have a conjugated verb and we have an infinitive. All right, what is Paco going to read? He's going to read las cartas. This is your direct. Who is he going to read it to? He's going to read it to you. This is your indirect. All right, so we would rewrite the sentence the first way, putting everything in front of the conjugated verb. So Paco te las va a leer. Right, we got the las because las cartas is plural, so we need to use the plural form of the direct object. And we got te because te is your indirect. All right, we can also rewrite the sentence adding everything to your infinitive. So we would have Paco va a leer te las, all right, we combine everything to the end. We added two pronouns, so we need to put an accent mark. We need to count back three vowels, one, two, three, or remember that it's an ER verb and put your accent on the E. All right, yo voy a comprarte un libro. All right, here we've already got the indirect added to the verb. All right, what are you going to buy? You're going to buy un libro. This is your direct. Your indirect is already attached to the verb. All right, but we still need to rewrite the verbs both ways. All right, so you can move your indirect away from the verb right, to end up with yo te lo voy a comprar. Right. So we just moved our indirect to the front. We got lo because un libro is singular and masculine. Right? Or we can rewrite it adding everything to the end of the verb. Right? Yo voy a comprar te lo. Right? We added two pronouns to the end, so we need to count back three vowels, one, two, three, and add our accent mark on the a there. Okay? All right, remember that you can only put your object pronouns in front of a conjugated verb 
or add them to the end of an infinitive. All right, so far we've looked at verbs or sentences that have two verbs in them with direct and indirect object pronouns. All right, we have our indirect object pronouns as lay and lace, right? In Spanish, though, if we have a direct object pronoun, for example, we have a sentence that says, le doy el dinero, right? And we want to rewrite this sentence. El dinero is your direct, le is your indirect. When we rewrite this, we would end up with le lo doy. But in Spanish, you cannot have the two L's next to each other. So le has to become se. So it becomes se lo doy. All right? If this was lace lo doy, it would still change to se lo doy. Right? So anytime you have the two L's, right, you have to change the le or lace to se. Right, for example, let's look at some sentences. Right, Juan le escribe las cartas. All right, what does Juan write? Right, las cartas is our direct. Who does he write them to? Le is our indirect. All right, so the way we originally rewrite this sentence would be Juan le las escribe. Since we have two L's here though, we need to change this lay to say. So we would have one say las escribe. Okay. Alright, two les das un perro. All right, what do you give? Un perro is your direct. You give it to lace, which is your indirect. So if we rewrite this sentence, we would end up with two lace lo das. You can't have the two L's next to each other, so it becomes two se lo das. Okay. Right, voy a darle un libro. All right, this sentence has two verbs in it. All right, so we're going to rewrite the sentence two ways. All right, what do we give? Un libro is your direct. Who do we give it to? Le is your indirect. All right, so the first way we're going to rewrite it is putting your ver um, pronouns in front of your conjugated verb. So we're going to end up with le, lo, voy a dar. Right, we can't have the two L's, so we're going to change the lay to say. Right? And then the other way, we're going to have voy a dar se lo. And then you add your accent to your A. Okay. All right, so hopefully now with this lesson, you're more comfortable with direct and indirect object pronouns, using them together. Um, for more practice, go to myspanishlab.com and do the activities that are in our course. If you still need help, please give me a call. Good luck.